Well, good afternoon, everybody. If you remember, cast your mind back to a few short weeks where I was saying, don't forget, we're at 10.45 in the morning. Little did I know. <laughs> Anyway, while we're allowed to remain open uh, during this period of lockdown, your church will be doing two services each Sunday, one at 10.45 on Zoom only. And also, as I said, while we're still allowed to meet physically, we will continue the three o'clock in the afternoon services. Because I've heard the same story from people in here today. I need to be with somebody. I need that contact. I need that physicality. And as long as that needs there, and we are able to, we will be here for you. So, enough of my waffling. Hand over now. Thank you, David and Irene, so You're much. Welcome. Excuse my back, but you understand. <laughs> <laughs> Some say it's my best view. <laughs> Thank you so much. You always say, oh, please have seen the back of him. Yeah. <laughs> I could understand. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking our service today. So without further ado, I will hand over to you now for the opening blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. 
It's a beautiful day, isn't it? And it's even more beautiful in the vibration of this church and sanctuary. And we're very happy that you've all come to join us for our divine service today. And also we hope very much indeed that each of you in your own way had an enjoyable Christmas to the best that you could. May I ask each of you in your own way now to join together with Ian and I and Lawrence as we open our service in prayer. To know in your heart that as you close your eyes on the physical world around you, that as we join together and build that vibration of friendship, of love, of light, of oneness, that our world of matter and the world of spirit can come together and in that wonderful way those we love dearly now within that higher consciousness of the spirit world are able to join us on the vibration that each of us helps to build. So may we close our eyes now on the physical world around us to go within. Symbolically with each breath inwards we draw the light and the love of spirit to us and around us deep within. With each breath outwards, I want to see your love flowing from your heart center, gently filling this, our beautiful church and sanctuary, with a vibration of peace, of oneness, but most importantly, of light. And within our prayer today, we also invite our friends across the world who are joining us by that wonderful um, technology that we have now, the internet. And so we welcome them to join us for our service too. And we send out our love and our light to them also. Let us pray. O oh, great spirit, mother, father, God, we come before you with love and sincerity in our hearts to firstly give thanks for each day of life that you bring us and for the blessings, light and love we each receive to help us cope with the experiences that we encounter on our individual pathways, the good times and the bad, joyous times and sad, times of great light, but sometimes of darkness too. Within our prayer, we also thank you for the knowledge we have been blessed with, that life is eternal, our world of matter and that of spirit intermingling and interpenetrating one with the other and those with whom we have built bonds of friendship or love with whilst together here upon the earth plane who now reside within that higher consciousness of the spirit world are indeed only a thought distant from us at any time proving that physical death does not break those bonds. A wonderful truth that brings us the greatest of comfort throughout our life. And so we welcome them and invite, in, invite them to join us on the vibration of friendship, that oneness and light we each help to build here today and within our own homes. We also include within our invitation those souls we name our guides, helpers, guardian angels and teachers. Our hearts reach out in compassion, caring and concern at this time for all who are suffering within our material world, whether members of the human family, the animal kingdom, the natural world or Mother Earth herself. And ask, O Divine Parent, that you will reach out your open hands of healing towards them and we thank those within the spiritual realms who are your intermediaries and who bring your beneficent healing balm, loving cup and divine help to the earth plane and the life it supports where need exists. We thank you that we are able to join together in this most natural of ways, free from victimization or ridicule and ask that you will bless our divine service and each of us gathered here or at home, both from so all sides of life, our friends from the spirit world also. Amen.
<coughs> Thank you, David. That was absolutely beautiful. Now, friends, if you care to, please join together and say in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not when in temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine, thine is the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. So, once more I will hand over to you for your reading and address today. Thank, thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. Are you all happy? Oh, yes. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm getting old. <laughs> the reading for today. A New Year's message from White Cloud, January 2021. And our dear friend says, My dear friends, it is with the greatest of joy I have been given the opportunity of addressing you in this way and hope that my words may bring comfort, upliftment and guidance as you enter into the new year. A period of time that from both sides of life it is hoped will generate a greater vibration of calmness, peace, mutual understanding, kindness to one another and a brighter spiritual light to shine out within your world of matter and thus envelop all life within its radiance. Many of those who follow the teachings and example of the Nazarene have recently celebrated the holy time of Christmas and the spiritual importance of that event. We have shared with you and your families the true spirit of Christmas as our two worlds of matter and spirit became closer during Advent and Epiphany, as the earth plane vibration quickened. Your own loved ones from my side of life too, drawing close within the shared joy of this special time. Many have made the usual New Year resolutions that bring a smile to the faces of your loved ones, and indeed we, your guides from my side of life. We see you each year struggle to maintain the promises you make to yourselves. And so very often those promises, one by one, fall by the wayside. So be it. But may I ask each of you who hear my words to make one important promise for this new year. One that will bring you the greatest of spiritual stimulus and joy, and one that we in spirit will do all we can to help you keep to it. You have been blessed with the knowledge of life eternal, of the spiritual realms, and just how close those you hold dear in your hearts who now dwell within those realms are to you. Just a thought distant from you wonderful gifts the Great Spirit has bestowed upon you and bring you the greatest of comfort as you walk your pathways of life in the flesh and experience its many facets. You have learned from the philosophy of that which you name spiritualism and also from the exemplary life of the Nazarene, the natural gifts of the Spirit each of you has within you, and which, if not already being utilised, awaits expression. And for many, you have been shown that under the right conditions, communication with souls in my world is possible, 
and indeed occurring on a regular basis. And so we, your friends in my world of the spirit, would ask you, as you stand on the stage of life in physical form, to look left and right and see us standing within the wings of that stage. We would ask you to open your mind and allow us to take your hands in our own, to share together a wonderful adventure of friendship, unconditional love, but most importantly, service, using your natural spiritual gifts to flow from you. You are aware, just as we are in spirit, that at this particular time, in its evolution, the earth plane needs a regeneration of spiritual light, of love, of kindness, empathy, and a greater understanding and respect towards your brothers and sisters within the human family and all other life you share your space with. And it is imperative that each of us from both our world and your own help to generate those qualities throughout the new year ahead. Remember, dear friends, you are the instruments of the great spirit, the great creative force that you name God, that brought each of you into being and animation. It is you who have been given the capability of bringing about the changes that are needed at this particular time, with the loving support, guidance, inspiration and encouragement of we, your guides, helpers and teachers from our side of life, all things are made possible as we extend our hands out towards yours. We hope you will accept our invitation to join us and we hope you will accept our invitation to join us in this coming year to help rekindle, regenerate that spiritual light and that a higher mind consciousness that is so desperately needed. Thank you for listening to my words, I go now. So they are the words of a friend of ours, Lawrence knows of him, and uh, we love him dearly, and he comes to give us advice, and he's a very great friend of ours. And what I want to say is that each of you has wonderful uh, friends in the spirit world also, haven't you? You know, if you have read about the philosophy that we call, as they say here in our reading of spiritualism, you learn that apart from those wonderful dear friends and family that you have already in the spirit world, you already have their love coming to you each day from the spirit world, but you also have those souls we have named guides, helpers, guardian angels and teachers. Is that not right? And as we sit here today, and at home of course, as we join our friends that are in their own homes around the world, we know that as we sit, and open our hearts and our minds onto that higher consciousness that is available to each of us, we can draw those wonderful souls closer to us. And so through the year ahead, I'm wondering, you know, um, does anyone make New Year resolutions anymore? Do we bother anymore? I know I and I now, we don't bother because um, we've done all this for so many years and also, uh, of course, it goes a week or two and what happens is we, we fall by the wayside, as it said here in our reading. But the thing is, we always know that whatever our failings may be, each of us has strengths also. And those strengths, our helpers and our guides, and those who love us dearly in the spirit world, always find an opportunity of drawing close and helping us to achieve the goals that we would like to, uh, to achieve whilst in the flesh here upon the earth plane. Isn't it wonderful to know that we have them all here? And as we sit around in this beautiful little church and sanctuary, you, I hope that as we open in prayer and you close your eyes on the physical world and lift it off onto that higher sensitivity that each of you, in your own way, has felt those special souls each of you has draw close to you. Have you? Have you felt the warmth of their love? I hope you have, because they're all there. 
we see you light up. You know, uh, Lawrence took his Christmas tree down, didn't he, a few days ago. Was that beautiful, to see that tree there and the lights on the tree? Does it bring an excitement to you all, as you think back on those times, when we used to try to uh, make the little Christmas trees that we had in our own homes um, much brighter? But in our day, I'm going back a long way, it used to be candles, and we used to light them. How dangerous was that? But the thing was, it made them look pretty and bright, and it made you feel excited for that time that was coming of Christmas. But now we're into a new year, and already I and I have noticed, and I hope you all have as well, that new life is coming to the earth plane, isn't it? In the natural world, have we noticed it? Yeah. I hope so. Their little bulbs are pushing through, aren't they? And in the garden, Lawrence, isn't there? It's a new time, and it's a quickening, isn't it? Don't you think so? I mean, sometimes we feel very tired and listful. We've gone through a bad time, haven't we? And we're still processing, processing through that, uh, progressing through that time. But things are going to get better, aren't they, for this new year? And we're going to help make them get better even quick, more quickly, aren't we? Yes? because of the knowledge that each of us has been given. All the changes that we make in this world have to be achieved by us, the human family. And we are all part of that divine spirit, as we said in our prayer, as we said in our reading. Is that right? And if you believe in this philosophy, that we are all part of God. And so it is God that is within us that helps us achieve the wonderful things that we wish to achieve and especially through the start of a new year. It's a new beginning and whatever we failed to do last year we must put it aside. We had a lovely little girl, we got a colleague in uh, Japan, uh, what's she called Ari? Aikiko. Aikuko or something, oh, very funny Japanese name. And she um, contacted us over the new year to ask that uh, she'd done some things in her life this past year that she was upset about. She may have said something that have, has hurt somebody or acted um, some, in some way that may have affected someone. And she said, how can I sort of put that aside? How can? And we said, well, or I suggested, and uh, we've all done this, haven't we? Maybe we, we snatch at something, a few words that we say to someone that we, oh, we shouldn't have said that or we shouldn't have been so quick in doing this or that or the other that may have hurt somebody. And I said, well, if you write all these things down that have worried you, that you've said to someone or done to someone in the past year, and put it in a little paper bag, and then just burn it. Does that make sense to anybody? And just watch the flames go up and watch that turn to ash. You see what I mean? And so it's finished with, it's done with, and you sort of exercise yourself in a sense. Does that make sense? And so I thought it was a lovely idea. We sent that back for the idea to Aikuku. Aikuko, I think it is her name. And uh, she was very grateful for that. So it's nice that we have now come into a new year. And whatever we failed to do last year, we are going to achieve this year, aren't we? All of us. And of course, as we know, we have the wonderful support of our helpers and our guides, guardian angels and teachers around us from the spirit world. And also, you know, if any of you, do any of you sit for a development here, by the way? Are any of you sitting in circle or groups? Well, you know, don't you? As you sit and you open up to the spirit world, the energy changes, doesn't it? As our loved ones come close. Is that right or not? <coughs> you know? And they're going to help us achieve the things we wish to achieve in our world of matter this year. Some people here, I can see a light coming around, some of you, are into nursing or caring. Does that make sense to anyone here? You know, you're nodding, aren't you? you? You give out a lot to other people, don't you? Well, as you give out, what does it say? We receive, don't we? You know? And also, we know when we start our service today, well, I believe this totally. We always used to say, where well, one or two are gathered in my name, I'll be there also. Is that right? So we've got this wonderful energy of the spirit world sharing our service. And in our own homes, wherever we are, wherever we are sitting now together and we've joined in for our opening prayer and to be together and said the Lord's Prayer, that world of spirit comes ever closer. Isn't it wonderful? 
And we also said in our reading here, uh, White Cloud mentioned it, that how close the spirit world is to us. And we, we, that you call spiritualists and mediumistic people, like you all are, aren't you? Is that right? You're all nodding, come on. Don't be shy. We have found this incredible way of life where we can prove what we're saying, can't we? Isn't it wonderful? And the world of spirit love us dearly because we bring the two worlds together to achieve great things in the world while we're here. We don't want to go back to the spirit world and eventually all of us will, won't we? Some of us a bit sooner than others as I look around us here. Is that right, Irene? But the thing is, we will all one day return to the spirit world and we will be shown by our guides and helpers and those lovely souls who watch over us and who care for us from those higher realms of spirit. We will be shown our life. And we want to see the good that we've done, don't we? We want to see the light that we've created and generated whilst here upon the earth plane. In all that we think, that we say, and that we do. The power of your minds. You know you're going to do, is it absent healing? Do you do absent healing today? I want to say how important that is. The power of your mind. It's the creative mind that brought us all into being, really, when you look at it. God is the great creative mind, and we're part of that. And so as you send out your thoughts of love, compassion, caring, concern, if you hold out your hand to hold someone else's in empathy, in compassion, in caring for someone, that energy flows, and it helps them to heal them, to hold them up, to give them strength from you. You are the conduit. You are the little, I always say, with little bits of fuse wire. Does that make sense? Where the power of the spirit flows through us. And those of you who are healers, there are healers here somewhere. I can sort of feel the, the colours are going round here. Who's in the healing group? There's someone here from the healing group. There's a gentleman there. I know the energies here. I can feel it. And you know, as you open up, you know, those healing guys that you have, sir, they come close to you. And between you, that wonderful energy flows. And as you play, oh, what a privilege, what an honour to be able to represent the spirit world as a healer. To put your hands on someone gently, on someone's shoulders, or hold their hands, and to allow that energy of love and of light and of healing to flow through you to that person. Isn't that wonderful? What a, and a gift that the great spirit has given us, all of us, to be healers. You know, when you reach out to someone in pain, when you give someone a cuddle, and that's the worst thing, isn't it? The last year, we haven't been able to hug and to cuddle and to be close to one another because of this awful pandemic. But there are wonderful souls in the spirit world, you know, who have been working tirelessly, the same as the wonderful souls this side of life, to create those vaccines that now we are using to help to combat this pandemic. Is that right? So isn't it wonderful? And how many of you within our room today, how many of you at home, I wonder, who have been on the operating theatre and been had operations in the past? You know what I'm saying? These wonderful souls through the Ministry of Healing here on the earth plane. And we send out our love within our service today, our absolute appreciation and respect for all those who are nurses doctors, carers in any way, shape or form that are working tirelessly in our hospitals at this time to try to save lives and the people there tending them that are so desperately ill. And of course they worry for their own health, don't they? These nurses and carers. And so we feel for them and we love them all dearly and we respect what they are doing to heal those that come into their care and their keeping. So all of us, through this new year ahead, I don't know how long you want me to go on for, Lawrence, but, um, <laughs> sorry? You're fine. No, right. so, sorry, but the thing is, you know, the new year ahead, each of us, in our own way, can create so much more light, so much more love and compassion and giving to those who come into our orbit, our, our vibration. We don't have to go travelling around the world, all over the place. 
but simply we can just do our absent healing prayers each day, sending out our thoughts, as I said of earlier, of compassion, caring and concern, and seeing that love that you have in your heart centre flowing from you, as it did earlier today when I invited you to open up in prayer. And we filled this church with a wonderful energy now. It's not the numbers, it's the quality that is coming and being uh, generated. And all that wonderful energy, when we go out of the door of this beautiful church or sanctuary, or within our own homes, I must say, we build that energy and it can be harvested. Does that make sense to everyone? It can be used, it's not wasted. It's just used by those souls in the spirit world associated with the healing ministry. And it's an energy that can be going out onto the ether and it can be used wherever it may be needed around the world. Just think that we are here in sunny Dorset. It was well, a beautiful day today, wasn't it? It turned out beautiful at the end. But the thing is that wherever you place your feet upon the surface of the earth plane, doesn't matter how distant you are from one another, however near you are to one another, we are all one great family created by the divine spirit, animated by that creative mind. Isn't it wonderful? So it doesn't matter where you live on the earth plane, doesn't matter how far away, however near to one another, we're all linked intrinsically by the divinity within each of us. We each have that little spark that is of God within us. And so we don't have to go tearing around the world to find God, because God dwells within us, doesn't it? I say it because it's an energy, a beautiful creative energy. And when you sit on the side of your bed to say your prayers or to talk to God, I bet you lift your, I bet your little chin goes up, does it? Does it? Am I talking silly or not? When you meditate, do you find, here we go, your head starts going upwards, doesn't it? And you start to get a little tickle in your throat. Is that right? How do I know this? Because I do it every morning and it's the same thing. We tend to lift off. And we're lifting up. If you go through your chakras, I'm going on here a bit, but anyone know about your chakras? How important they all are? Those beautiful colours that each of you has within you? And if you sit in your groups to develop the gifts of the spirit and your mediumship, you learn about those chakras and how important those colours are to you by music. Anyone play a musical instrument here? Anyone at all? Anyone listen to lovely music? How important it is, because each note that you play re resonates on a certain chakra within your etheric body. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? I'm not talking Chinese, am I? No, no, no. <laughs> you know, but people will understand this, how important it is. Good music, those lovely notes that resonate with each chakra of your body. And as you go into your prayers or your meditation, to go up through the chakra. So you really do lift off. And that's what causes you to lift, you're lifting up. But of course, God dwells within. God is always there with you, going through the thick and the thin of life. So I hope that this new year will bring all of us, me and Irene, Lawrence, all of us, and all of our friends that are listening today or viewing, we hope it will bring a bright new future through January, February, March and April and on into the summer. That's what we're looking for, aren't we? The summer, when we can get... We're all wrapped up here, aren't we? <laughs> we've all got our central heating on and God knows what else. But the days ahead are looking bright. There are wonderful souls in our healing ministry here and the healing ministry there that are working together and together with the world of spirit and our own physical worlds joining together with all that knowledge and understanding and hard work, <coughs> we will achieve great things in the new year ahead. So thank you for listening. Always send out your love and your light to your friends and loved ones in the spirit world daily. They're always around you, there for you, doing all they can to help you achieve all those wonderful goals that, and even the uh, resolutions that you may have made for the new year. They'll help you achieve that and they're always with you. They will never, ever let you down. Thank you for listening. Lovely, David. I love hearing passion when people talk, and that was wonderful. So many pertinent things in there.
So brilliant, pretty, pretty, brilliant. And indeed, as David mentioned there in his wonderful philosophical address, we now work with the power of absent healing. This is where we can send out our thoughts, our prayers, our concerns, and our love. That's the most important vibration. For those that we know who are in need of that healing balm to surround them. These may be friends, relatives, loved ones, our animal kingdom, foes even. It matters not. Healing works on many, many different levels, on many, many different planes. And please be aware that as you do ask for that healing, even if healing is required for yourself, you will always benefit by linking in with that divine energy. By either transmitting it or receiving it yourself, it matters not. You, as the instrument, will also be healed. So just for a short time, you can just go along quietly, peacefully, gently, just with this little piece of music. Just allow your minds to be stilled. Nor all all of the problems, all of the cares and the concerns and the worries of today. They'll be there ready to pick up later. For now is your time. as you bring yourself back now, softly and gently, send out that thought, that thank you, for all those thoughts and prayers that you have asked, have been listened to, and will be acted upon. Amen. Amen. And now, once more, I hand over back to David first, or Irene first. Yep. Irene. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello. <laughs> Before I had the plane. Good afternoon, friends. And it's lovely to be with you all. And uh, where do I go? I'm going to start with you two, if I may. As I'm linking with you, I've got a lady who's coming very close to you 
back in the spirit world and I feel this lady is a grandmother you can yeah. place this for me and have you got dad in spirit me no no, no, then I've got a grandfather, okay. come, but I know, I know that they're separate, but they each want to link with you, because I feel with you two that there's something very special um, for both of you, and I feel you in particular, if I can say this, um, you've got a, it's almost as if it's a natural understanding of spirit, the spirit world, um, and I want to say the your natural environment, um, the flowers, the trees, all anything to do with nature. I feel that you find a lot of peace when you're in that sort of environment. I also want to say to you as well that you're aware of spirit, aren't you? You feel them coming in very close to you. And I've got a guide who's linking here and she's saying to me to say to you to keep going the way you are because she's saying you're on the right pathway for you at this present time, okay? I think sometimes you feel that your progress is a little slow and you re would really like to um, you know, sort of bring it forward a bit faster than it's coming. Am I right? Yeah. That's right, isn't it? And she's saying, no, you're doing very well. And just go slowly because you're really learning the real basic knowledge that you need. And I feel as you listen to the different mediums, you take in what they're saying and what makes sense to you, which is the most important thing, you accept and which doesn't quite sit comfortably with you, then you dismiss it, don't you? Yeah. And she's saying this is right because you're, what you're doing is building a foundation for your future work because this is what you'd like to do, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you've got your earthly jobs and, and different things to do, but deep down you think one day I'd love to be able to do this, yeah. don't you? And for you, sir, as well, I feel with you, as I'm linking with you, I've got the blue light coming in around you and this is for healing. And I feel with you that you're a very compassionate person and you're the sort of person, if you can do someone a good turn, then you're more than willing to do it, aren't you? You two are together, that's right. And what I've got this gentleman saying to me for you is to follow your dream. And if there's something, it's not at the moment, but in the future, I don't know whether there's something been going around for the two of you. You're nodding, can you, you can understand what what I'm talking about. It's not now, but it's something you say, if we could, if only we could, you will, if you want that dream sort of hard enough, you know, but you've got to work towards it. But you already know this, don't you? And they're saying that, he's saying that dream is more than achievable for both of you, because together you're a very strong force, aren't you? It's as if, you know, you're really together, and as I say, you both want the same sort of things. I feel I've got change coming for you, yeah. and this is in a work situation. Okay. Yes? I'm not sure. You're not sure? Yes, <coughs> I think there is, as I say at the moment, we're all going through this very difficult time, aren't we? But there's, it, it's as if they're encouraging you all the time, your, your family and the spirit world, to look forward. I don't know whether this has been really 
pulling you back, you know, what we're going through at the moment. But they're saying, no, don't let it sort of depress you. Keep looking forward and going forward. And all that you want to achieve in the future, you will do. There's a natural gift that comes down through the family on your side and this comes down through the ladies in your family. You already know about this. You already know about this, yeah. don't you? That's right. And as I say, it's as if there's grandma and aunties and that sort of thing going back and they would have done this sort of work, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. That's right. And as I say, it's that gift that's come down to you. So take it steady. You will get to where you want to get. But I also want to say to you as well that with the earth plane, the work um, situation, there's going to be changes in that area as well. But it's for the better, okay? So the pair of you is lovely. You're young, get, you know, keep going forward the way you are. Hold on a minute. <coughs> I've got a gentleman who's coming forward here. <coughs> <coughs> and I feel this gentleman would have passed with a heart or chest condition. Yeah. You, can, you can place this, can you? It's as if he's coming in very closely. I'm not sure what um, relation he is at all, but as I say, it's as if he's coming in close here and he wishes to be remembered to you. Yeah. Did you look after him or help him in some way in a caring? He, he went before, before I was there, but this is my granddad. It's your granddad, yeah. is it? Yeah. He's coming here, but as I say, um, it, it's as if he's remembering the condition that he passed with. This often happens as they link with a medium and that, well, the earth plane, and they remember the condition that they passed with. And he says he was really pleased when his time came to pass because of the condition that he's, you know, he, he was suffering from. And it's as if there was this terrible breathing problem that he had and he's saying he was pleased to go but he wants you to know that he's around you and he sends his love not only to you but to the rest of the family as well here on the earth plane okay so keep going forward i love what i see around the pair of you because you've got exciting times to look forward to okay <coughs> i'll leave you with that i come to the lady behind you. Have you got a partner in spirit? Yes, I have. You have. I've got the gentleman here and he's quite forceful as he's coming forward here and he wants you to know that he's okay. Um, I don't know whether you've been sending thoughts out to him to say, oh, I hope you're all right and, you know, wherever you are sort of thing. And he's come in here very quite forcefully, actually, to say, reassure her, tell her that I'm absolutely fine, you know. Um, there's upset here. He's very emotional as he's linking here because he's saying he wasn't expecting to leave you so quickly. It's as if his passing was sudden. Am I right? That's right, isn't it? And he's saying it was quite a shock to him when he realised, because a lot of times when they pass, they don't realise and they're passed suddenly that they have, so it takes them a while to get used to and understand that they have passed because they feel okay sort of thing. Um, but anyway, he's coming here and he's bringing you um, a lot of love and support. And he's saying you've been through a difficult time recently and he says he's helped you through that time as much as he possibly could. But he said you've been wonderful. You were so strong. You acted very strong, whereas inside it's as if you were practically falling to pieces. 
but he's saying she was always like that. He said, whenever I felt, you know, a bit wobbly or down, she'd say, come on, come on, pick yourself up, brush yourself down, and we're going to go forward and, and get on with things. He wants you to know that he's, I, I, he's got open air all around him. Was he the sort of person that liked to be outside? Because it's as if I can see him in uh, very open spaces, you know. He's not one to be inside. And I've got walking and nature, that sort of thing around him. And have you made changes at home recently? Yes. Because he's saying the changes that you've made, he's he likes them. And he's saying it's made you much more comfortable. You can understand why he's saying that. And he's saying here, he wants you to go on making improvements and doing nice things for yourself. Okay, are you thinking or planning a holiday of some sort of trip? No, he's saying here that he's trying to work things so that there's an opportunity for you to go on a visit because he's a little bit concerned that you do spend a lot of time at home, which is understandable at this time, but we're going forward again here, and he's saying, you know, further on, he wants you to sort of expand uh, uh, and and mix a little bit more. He had to travel, you see. Than you're doing now. He did. He did. Yeah. Well, this is what. This is why he's trying to make me do more. What he's saying. And I think you might be travelling. <laughs> and whether this is with somebody you're going to meet or not, I don't know. But I don't feel that you'll be going on your own. I wouldn't go on my own. No, but I feel that maybe a friend, you know, will say, we go, I'm going on this trip. Do you? Anyway, if the opportunity arises for you in the future, then he's saying that this will be good. He's thanking you for the times that you spent together. He was saying, we had a lot of fun, didn't we? Difficult times, but he says overall, he said we had a lot of fun. Very upset that he left you mm. like he did. But he said, the memories we've both got are wonderful and they're a great comfort to us, aren't they? I've got mum in spirit as well, and this lady. Um, I feel with her that she suffered quite a bit before she passed, and what I'm getting here is a weakness. It's, it's as if she got very weak towards the end of her life, and I feel that my legs are going weak as well. So she would have had a job walking. Yes. And have I got a stick here? Yes. I've got a stick, haven't I? That's right, and it's as if that sort of helped her to go along. Here with this lady, I feel she was really a nice lady. She was sweet, she was well-mannered. She was a very kindly person, wasn't she? But she had her own opinions and ideas, didn't she? And I also feel with this lady that she would have liked to have been quite smart as well. She wouldn't have walked about scruffy or anything like that. And here with her, I've got hair as well. It's as if she was saying, you know, I did like my hair to look nice as well. And she comes around you here with a lot of love. Um, and she's bringing flowers symbolically here and I feel that she would have liked flowers and the garden yes. as well. And have you got a necklace? Yes, I have. You've got a necklace that yes. belonged to this lady because she's just um, drawing attention to mine here. And you wear it? I don't actually, but I've got it. 
You thought you ought to wear it, yes. And she said, I always wore it, she wore it a lot, and she's saying it, it looks so pretty on you. So if you were looking at it, or you put it on the other day, then obviously she was drawing close. And that's a link, obviously, with this lady. Do you meditate, or? Yes, I do, yes. You do. So it's always a nice idea sometimes to hold something and I feel that she's bringing this necklace mm -hmm. to your attention to just hold that gently and send your thoughts out because I feel with you as well that you you're on a spiritual pathway aren't you and as I say development is certainly there for you as well and you can feel yourself can't you opening and linking and, and rising in consciousness um, with spirit and they're certainly coming in around you and I think you would say as well or agree that without spirit and your understanding in your life you wouldn't have got through your partner's passing quite as well as you did it's as if they were your rock as you were going through this bad time. So as I say, there's a lot here again for you to look forward to. And they love the improvements you've made <laughs> in your home, so keep doing that. And as I say, if, if it does come where you get the opportunity to go on a trip or a break, you know, just a short break or something, your husband's saying, do take it because you will enjoy it and have you bought new boots or shoes yes i have you have yes. boots and shoes yes. and you've bought both of them have you just the little thing that mum's bought in to say oh. i like them <laughs> i like them very much but she she, she's them. talking about the boots oh, so right. maybe it's the boots she likes the best i'll leave you with okay, that thank you thank you <coughs> let me i'll come to you if i may Oh, I've got a frog in here. Yeah, I'll link with you. Hold on. <coughs> I've got mum in spirit. Yeah. And th this lady is very emotional as she's linking with you because she says she felt that she was a bit of a burden to you before she passed into spirit. Did you look after her? Yes, I was looking after her. So I you were looking after her? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And she wasn't the sort of person that liked to be a burden or a nuisance to anybody, was she? It's as if she was very self-contained. And as I say, she looked on. She lost dad before her that's right isn't it and she's saying here she stayed as long as she could but she was poorly well she was quite poorly before she passed and it's as if she went on for quite a long time wasn't it and she gradually got weaker and weaker and she's saying she hung on as long as she could because she didn't want to leave you she didn't want to leave and she's saying any of you but she's saying, in the end, she said, I, it, I just had to go, she said. But she's coming here and she's brightening up now and, and she's saying she wants you to know that they're together. She's saying we're together as we were <coughs> when we were on the earth plane. But as I say, she's very emotional here and I feel that there's been a lot of tears shed over this lady hasn't they because she was special to so many people but she's saying to you you know that you've got my love because you feel her drawing close to you don't you and dad but it's mainly mum isn't it that that you feel her presence around you and she's saying i'll never leave you i'll always be there for you and I feel with you that there's one or two problems around you 
at the moment. Plenty, yes, there are, and this is why she's coming here. And she, oh, she's very emotional, and she's saying that they're both of them. They're doing all they can to help you through this difficult time that you're going through. And she says, trust us, trust us. She says, you know, you will be okay and you will get through it and you will feel stronger. And she's saying, ask, ask for the healing. And she's saying the healing will help you a lot. I don't know whether you come to the church or when you can, yes, that's right. She's very proud of you. She said you're a really good girl, as she's calling you. And she said you help so many people. So you're obviously in a caring, you, you're nursing or something. I'm not supportive of any care that's right, that's right. So as I say, she's saying about all the good work you do. And she's saying as you give out, all your love and care to other people. She's saying it will come back to you. But here again for you, she's saying, don't think that you're going to be in this present situation for very much longer, she's saying, because things are going to start getting better for you personally, okay? I'm being taken to the seaside here. Did you go on holidays with mum and dad or? When I was younger. Yeah, when you were younger. And they were happy times. And you used to be really excited, didn't you? Because she's bringing this, as, it's as if I'm on a train or going along, you know, and you see all the countryside and all the rest of it. And it's as if she's trying to bring you memories of much happier times because of the sad time you're going through at the moment. And she's saying, think back to those times when we were all together, she said, and then that will draw us all closer to you. Because it wasn't just mum and dad that were with you at that time, but it was other family members as well. Yeah, it was my younger brother. Yes, that's right. So he's in, your brother's in spirit. Recently. Recently. Not yeah, also, that's right, that's right. And she's saying, when we were all together, and you said that you've recently lost your brother, so as I say, know that they are together. He will be getting healing and rest and care and attention that he needs just being passed over. But as I say, it's as if mum and dad are there and eventually, in a little while, they will all be together. So don't think that he's passed and he's alone or anything because they're there you know, sort of just waiting for him till he gets accustomed to the new conditions that he finds himself in. But if you can get healing, I'm sure there's healers here, you know, um, gradually, I'm sure that will help you an awful lot. But here again, hold on and know that things are going to improve a lot for you because you've got these loved ones in spirit working for you so i'll leave you with that and i hope that that's brought you a little bit of upliftment and know that your brother's fine okay terrible loss for us isn't it isn't it but as i say he's safe and well with mum and dad i'll leave you with that uh, I'll come to the gentleman, if I may. Have you got a partner in spirit? Not that I know of. <laughs> you haven't? Not yeah. Yet, no. I've got a... Um, I don't... Is mum in spirit? No. No? No. No. 
I've not got this right link here. I feel I'm over here. Um, My nan can't die. Nan, it, no, 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 no. I'm sure I'm with you in one way. Let me go on a little bit with this then. Was she quite a short yes, yes, yes. lady? Um, and, and a nan. Yes, yes. That's right. That's right. Hold on a sec. Yeah. Had she been, has she linked with you before? Yes, yes. She had. Okay. Is this, if she's a little bit hesitant here uh, as, she, as she's coming forward. But what she's saying here is that she's very proud of the work that you're doing. So do you work on a spiritual? Yes. Oh, you do. Well, this is what this is what she's talking about then. And she's saying that she helps you. Yes. And she's helped you right from the beginning. Yes. Because I feel with this lady that she was... Uh, mediumistic as well not maybe in this way on the platform but it's a, a, as if she was uh, the sort of person that would help anybody who came her way as I say um, you know neighborly and that sort of thing but she's saying here that um, there's new openings coming for you do you know about this already? Yeah. You know about it, do you? Well, that's good. Do you understand what she's talking about? And she's saying it's going to be um, a time of, of sort of unsettlement for you. It's as if you're going to feel a little bit unsettled for a while as you go forward. But she's saying that will all settle down in time because it appears here that you've got a new guide that's coming in, or a new helper, should I say? I know yeah. yeah. Are you? Do you do medium work? Yeah, I'm on L plates. Yeah. You are. Am, yeah, yeah. Ah, this is what it is then, because what she's showing me here is that there's a new, and she's doing it, a set of gates yeah. that's opening up, and she's saying, and they've been opening up for a little while. But it's, she's showing me now, and they're open. And it's as if there's a new pathway for you. You understand that as you progress, you don't always keep the same guide, because the guides work on levels as well. So as you, as you progress with your knowledge and understanding, then you will get a different guide come in. Okay, every so not all the time, but every so often, and that's what's happening here with you. So, as I say, I don't well, you haven't been working obviously recently, yeah. no, that's right. But when you start again, it's as if you're going to feel different to how you felt before because of this new energy that they're bringing in around you, and it's an exciting time for you as well and it's as if you're going to go on and on doing more and more good work and eventually I feel I can see you come in here okay and is that what you're striving for ultimately, ultimately that's right here again with the lady and gentleman here build your foundation, knowledge, understanding, because we're mediumship, this is just a small part of the work you do, okay? You embrace so many areas once you qualify, if you like, you know, and as I say, you have to have that knowledge and understanding to be able to work for spirit in so many different ways, okay? So I wish you well with that. And as I say, feel excited about it. Feel excited and say, yeah, forward, forward, forward. You've done very, very well. Okay, I'll leave you with that. Time. I've been called to time, friends. Thank you for listening.
<coughs> wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you both very much. Very quickly and briefly, just a few notices. We have now returned fully after our uh, uh, Christmas break. So Monday night, 7 o'clock online, we return to our meditations. Also on a Saturday morning, 9 o'clock online. We have a new series of what I'm calling Lyceum Evenings, which will normally be on a Wednesday night. This week we've had to move it one night due to the speaker's commitments. So Thursday night this week we have Tim Abbott, and he'll be talking about uh, refining your evidence. So any mediums, trainee mediums, learning, please join in with that. Tim's a very experienced teacher with the SMU and any opportunity to learn should be jumped upon at this time because let's face it you haven't got anything else to do <laughs> so <laughs> use the time so that will be this thursday normally these nights will be on a wednesday night to replace the fact we will not be having a physical service here in the church on a wednesday saturday night we have an open discussion evening on various topics with myself so that would be interesting. So I noticed this morning I hadn't talked to anybody and I thought, you know what, I need to work as well. So I'm going to inflict myself upon the general populace online. Next Sunday at 10.45 a.m. we have a Zoom service on the, uh, all details will be on the church Facebook page to join in. Next week we welcome Jack Lundgren and Lola Kiskis Jensen from Denmark, who will be taking our service. Gordon, Gordon, Jack, Lola, Pack. Don't ask me what I just said, but I think I said thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I am very slowly learning. And then next Sunday afternoon, as uh, we, at this time, we are still allowed to open, obviously, we always act within guidance issues so should that change please keep abreast if it says churches have got to shut we have to shut the zoom services will continue the afternoon services will continue as long as we are allowed to and next sunday we have with us a really lovely medium who i can see in my mind's eye and Gone. <laughs> Angie Freeman. There you go. Oh God. If you're watching Angie, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can see her. I just couldn't get the name. Uh, yes, yeah, so next Sunday, three o'clock live in church, uh, guidance permitting, obviously, as with all things. We welcome Angie Freeman. Just enough. I'll spare you any more of my ramblings. I don't get to talk very much, so when I do, it's all right. Well, I'll hear that. Thank you so much for taking our service today. Absolutely wonderful. Always a delight to see you. Thank you too to Kath and Janet for stepping into the breach. We've had to reshuffle with the volunteers due to locations in which they live and their um, reluctance to come out. And that's fine. I always say to people, if you don't feel safe to go in out, don't go out. It really is that simple. Look after yourselves. But thank you, Kath. Thank you, Janet, for stepping in. Hopefully I can rely on you for next week. Should we be open? Thank you. Greatly appreciate it because everybody is doing their bit. Everybody here today is doing their bit in keeping this church open, especially these wonderful people. I know this time of coming together is really important. I won't make any apologies. It is a bit chilly. However, that is because we keep the extractor fans on to keep everybody in this environment as safe as we can. So I hope we do understand that. Now I'll stop waffling. Now could I... <laughs> <laughs> Could I ask you please for the closing blessing? Thanks, Lawrence. Thank you, David. Well, we're glad you came and uh, joined us for the service. Otherwise, we'd be talking to ourselves, wouldn't we, Lawrence? We remember it, <laughs> Anyway, so thank you for being with us and sharing this time with us. We'll close down our service now in prayer. Dearest Father, divine service, as this service comes to a close, may we thank you for the life, the love, the friendship, the wonderful energy that each of us has helped to build today to bring our world of matter and spirit together. We give thanks to our friends and loved ones from that higher consciousness who have joined us and we have felt the warmth of their love and their closeness. As we make our way homewards, dear Father, we ask that always that you will share that journey with us, living within our homes, 
within our hearts and within our minds, helping each of us through the days ahead to always share our love and our light unconditionally with all who may touch our pathway, fellow members of the human family, the animal kingdom, and may we at all times show due respect to the wonderful and beautiful natural world, and especially Mother Earth herself. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would ask as you leave in a line and accord with the guidelines concerning the church being able to open today that there is to be no mingling of bubbles uh, on the church premises, which includes obviously the drive at the front. But I know you're all sensible, I know you're all safe, and I know you all have our and I know you all have respect yourselves, so uh, that is just required to be said. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> He said it was a bit like Zoom now, I you just know, sort of like I turn know. them off. But <laughs> <laughs> thank you all for coming. Yeah, thank we really you. appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you two, all young and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Which is sick, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, bye, bye darling. Bye. Bye bye. God bless. My name was Ivy. Pardon? My mum's name was Ivy. Oh. Uh, oh. That's not right. My name was Ivy. Oh. 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 Oh.